this is your daily news source and it is Adso News going round the world even though it's a video not a live stream and there's probably three people watching right now. So yesterday there was a big incident with a YouTuber called It's Funny and I'm sure most of you know about it now. It's uh, yep, um, so me. It's funny, ah, it's funny he got turned into a Tesla channel and they were live streaming Elon Musk something and it was basically just a scam. So that's what happened with It's Funny, it got hacked. See, look, Sharkbox's video, we're going to react to Sharkbox's video. Please do not sue me, Sharkbox. But it also applies to anyone that has a Google or Gmail style account. If you want to keep your account safe, then yeah, make sure to pay attention to this video. Long story short, guys, there has been this Google account theft virus type thing that's been going around since November of 2019. I actually remember the first few channels that were affected by this scam. It started off being the technology channels, which kind of makes sense if you think about it, because technology channels always get sponsorships and brand deals. So pretty much what would happen with this like virus scam thing is the tech youtubers would get these emails from these dodgy hackers and the emails would basically state you know check out this software i'll pay you you know download it on your computer make a video about it that kind of thing but of course this new game or piece of software whatever the hacker is using would actually turn out to be a virus so what would normally happen is the youtuber would download the file their antivirus would normally go off and then all of a sudden they've lost access to their gmail and youtube and so then what's even worse is the hackers would gain access to it and they would start spamming uploads to get as much money clicks and attention as possible i believe in 2019 they started off by uploading these random things like japanese tv shows and all types of copyrighted rubbish but as of 2020 they started promoting these fake crypto scams i think it started off being like ripple or something like that and then later on it moved on to this like elon musk Tesla stock market related trash. Obviously, the YouTubers, you know, seeing this go down on their channel, they're gonna be incredibly stressed. And so they're probably gonna be very worried. They're like wondering, am I ever gonna get my channel or email address back? Now, luckily, YouTube is pretty quick on this. They know how it works now. And so most of the YouTubers, they get hacked by this method, do actually get their accounts restored or given back to them. But there could be a chance that there's a few YouTubers out there that never got their stuff back. Now, I would say, guys, around the start of 2020, these scammers moved on to targeting gaming youtubers previously they mostly focused on technology channels but now they had all types of content creators as their targets and of course gaming youtubers well that means robux youtubers now honestly guys i know i've probably made like several videos about this topic over the years but look what happened today this is a tweet from robux rdc major robux youtuber it's funny has been hacked by a crypto scam most videos have been privated and the channel was renamed to tesla 20 free and of course it's funny it's like one of the most popular robux youtubers on the website she's got this whole team i think it's called the crew or something yes like, they've got like absolutely millions of subscribers tens of millions look at this guys this is her channel 9.82 million subscribers and it's been renamed to tesla and now it's only got one video i bet her fans are going to be so confused about this so i actually searched up the channel quickly and i found it it's funny but as you can see it's got the tesla icon and yeah this is sad to see all of her videos are gone I'm very confident though guys they're gonna get this restored I mean they've got over 9 million subs nearly 10 million right they're yeah they did they back. did get their stuff back went on the channel normally I wouldn't recommend doing this don't watch any of like the live streams or the videos they're all scams we can see here 11 billion views that what now at the time of making this video I don't think it's funny it's noticed because she hasn't like tweeted or anything like that maybe okay to get it back that's what you should do as well guys if you have like a youtube or a gmail that falls victim to one of these scams make sure to tweet to youtube and basically just let me know what happened okay is, guys, i'll do that do you stay safe from this because this has been happening for like nearly four years it's a bit mental now most people or youtubers would advise you to get one of those google titan keys and yeah that is some good advice i have heard of this virus even bypassing those which is pretty scary so your best defense against these scammers and hackers is is simply yourself and here's a few tips of what you can do to stay safe so tip number one is be careful installing plugins for video editing software this especially replies to youtubers or maybe people
people that go to school and use video editors. This includes stuff like Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere Pro, and much more. If you ever see a plugin on a shady looking website that maybe looks decent, well honestly, I'd say just avoid it. And this has got absolutely millions of downloads and ratings, I wouldn't even trust it. Even on some of these trusted plugin websites, some of the plugins which have low ratings, they could contain viruses. You've got to be very careful. I've seen quite a few people hacked by this method. Now tip number two is kind of weird, but I have seen a couple of YouTubers hacked by this, a lot of Minecraft YouTubers. Be very careful when installing texture packs on games. So like I said, more specifically Minecraft texture packs. Actually, I don't know if you guys know the YouTubers, Jay and Ramel over on the TGF Bro channel. I'm a massive fan of these guys. No, I don't know them. Their channel got stolen a few months ago. Luckily guys, they did get it back. I think Jay said on a podcast it was because of a Minecraft texture pack and his antivirus just popped up going crazy. But yeah, that is insane. Now for tip number three, this one's pretty obvious, but just don't fall for fake sponsorship scams. Honestly, I get so many sponsorships In like Raid Shadow Legends, including established titles. Gaming controllers, all types of crap. And I've got to admit, I just don't do any of it because ah, oh, YouTube's a mess, right? Back in 2016, we would have never had this stuff, but now most of my sponsorship emails are just straight up scams. I can't trust any of them. If you're a very big YouTuber, maybe like 500k plus subs, I guess you could get a PO box and then companies could send you like physical products. That's like the only way I can see of getting around this. Now, for my next tip, a lot of people might say this is a bit overkill, but I would say have several computers. So what I do guys is I have one PC for my YouTube channel and then I have another PC for like editing, downloading, recording, that sort of thing. So that way if I'm only transferring MP4 files onto my YouTube computer, I'm never going to be transferring dodgy software am I? And yeah, like I said, I've seen too many YouTubers hacked over this multiple times as well. So I want to be extra careful. I've had bad experiences with Team YouTube in the past, so I really can't trust them 100%. I've really got to like protect my channel myself, right? Oh, and I think I forgot to say, if you guys were wondering how or why It's Funny got hacked, well, it turns out it was a fake sponsorship scam, so one of the points I already covered. It turns out, guys, somebody messaged her or emailed her pretending to be NordVPN. Obviously, she didn't know it was fake, so she downloaded the software thinking it was the NordVPN software, and yeah, it turned out to be the virus which just stole her whole channel. So this sucks. I think she's actually tweeted about it now, but yeah, I really hope she gets it back. So there we are guys the internet's a dangerous place like i said in many of my videos you just can't trust anyone anymore which is sad you know i've grown up with the internet and when i was a kid i could just you know install random viruses and stuff and it wouldn't even matter sure my pc would get like adverts or a toolbar or something but i wouldn't have like all of my accounts stolen i feel kind of lucky in that sense you know when i was a kid i learned you know how to be careful and stuff but it didn't really affect me that badly i mean these days guys if you get a virus that's it they can steal your gmail account like it's actually a nightmare but there we go i thought this video was kind of important to make and yes cautious person, so i thought i would just share with you guys my security tips and yeah there we are if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe if you want to i will leave a like on this video thank you sharp lock oh, i've not got notifications there we go <coughs> so there's your daily news source for adam Adzo news now get out of here and never come back no i'm joking so there's a loads of videos on it like um schlep <laughs> it um ashley is making videos on it x blue nights yeah there's loads of videos making videos about it so that's that's bad and also make sure to stay safe on the internet and if you've account gets hacked then all you need to do is t contact team youtube and then they can get it sorted and then you just need to shut up